Hello. Hello. Hi, Harry. Hi. How are you doing? Well. Doing well. So shall we begin today's session then? Okay. We shall do paths and exponents today. Okay. So, what do you know about paths and exponents? I don't know much, but here is a base and an exponent. A number, when denoted in the exponential notation, it has two paths, one the base and the exponent. Yes, you are right. Now, could you tell me which one of the two what I'm pointing now is a base and what's exponent in, in this notation. Could you tell me please? B uh, is the base okay. and N is the exponent. Well done. Very well done. And what's this entire thing called? Any idea? Exponential form. Well done. It's exponential notation. Otherwise also called as the index notation. Well in your textbook it is known as exponential, but never be perplexed when called as index. All right? Okay. So today, in our session, we should be covering the first law of exponentiation, and that is called the multiplication rule. All right. The multiplication rule, it states this, what I'm pointing at. Okay. A to the power of M times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. Now what's that you find in this expression? Anything new what do you find about this? What's unique? What do you find in here? Uh, How about the bases? Are the bases the same or yeah, different? Yeah, they're same. And is the exponent same? Different. They are different. So this rule, the multiplication rule, it goes applying only when the bases are the same. Do yes. you understand yes. what I meant? Yes. There we go. Now say 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2 gives you 2 to the power of 5. Now in here the bases are the same. Do you see that? Yes. So this is an area where the multiplication rule goes applying. Okay. But will this rule go applying if it's like this? 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3. Now will this rule go applying here? No. Can you tell me the reason why you think so? Uh, the bases are not same. Very right, very correct. So shall we practice some questions um, just to make sure that you have understood it rightly? You happy All with right. that? All okay. right. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put to you some problems. y to the power of 5 times y to the power of 7 equals can you tell me Harry what do you think it is? Yeah. Y to the power of five plus seven is equal to Y to the power of power of twelve. Well done, very well done. You got it rightly. I'm so proud of you. How about uh, can I give you a different question? Okay. Two to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 2. Could you do this for me, please? Yes. 2 to the power of 6 plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Again, got it rightly. Uh, one more question. Okay with you? Okay. 7 to the power of 1 times 7 to the power of 3. Let me see how we do it. 7 to the power 
of 1 plus 3 mm -hmm. so what is it equal mean? to 7 to the power of 4 very well done so um, can we do the next rule division rule in the next session then okay all right so it's been a nice uh, session with you harry okay so see you tomorrow then all right bye bye bye